Now this is a faucet that we're going to be using. It has a gooseneck, which is great for filling up pots, uh, pull-out sprayer, like so. These things are really fairly easy to install. You have a single shaft and all of your stuff comes out of there. We have our, our two waters, hot and cold, and then these hook together and they're for the pull-out sprayer. So the trick in doing this, of course, is you have to feed these down one at a time. And you really want to do this very carefully at this stage because the guys have done such a gorgeous job with this countertop, you hate to go and chip something at this point. And it's very easy to do when you're handling this heavy equipment. And this is also the stage now where you want to decide where you want to have your controls. You can put it on this side, you can spin it around, put it on the left side or on the front. We usually tend to put it here. I think that's the way most people like it. Let's bring the gooseneck around here. It's nice to get this faucet installed before we do all the drain work underneath. It just gives us a little bit more room to move. These are really pretty easy to put in, especially when you're the guy holding it in place on the counter. <laughs> And we're also installing our reverse osmosis system, so we'll just pop that guy in like so. Okay, Bucky, let me get this straightened out. I'm sorry, you can yeah. tighten that yeah, up. That's good. So once the faucets are hooked up, it's time to do the drains. Now on this side of the sink, we're going to have just a regular drain like this. On the other side, our drain will be a disposer. So the first thing that goes in is this flange. Underneath the sink, we'll be placing a gasket, our bottom flange like so. This is the mounting ring that will be attached over the top of that, and then we have our snap ring that goes on beside that. Now for our disposer, we have a one horsepower unit, never installed one quite that large before. It has a 40 ounce grind chamber with three different stages and additional torque for when it hits a little bit of a jam, and also sound insulation, so it should be nice and quiet. Now to hook up the disposer, we applied a bead of plumber's putty to the flange and we set it in the sink drain opening. Then we slid on the gasket and retainer onto the flange under the sink and installed the snap ring. Then we tightened the three screws on the retainer. As for the disposer itself, you just lift it into position under the retainer and twist it counterclockwise to lock it into position. So once that disposer is totally hooked up and draining, then we can put our other drain in here and we'll have a totally operational sink, which really will be nice to have for the rest of the remodel.